healthy was breakfast, I don't know. I had some dark chocolate almonds and a banana. Traveled 222 miles yesterday from Greensburg to Athens, Alabama. And here in the pre-dawn hours, we're going to head on out to the uh, to our next stop. It looks like we're about two hours away from Tupelo, Mississippi. So we'll go see uh, Elvis's stomping grounds and take us a break, and then uh, reassess our our route from there. I'm going to avoid the interstates for a while, I believe, and maybe all the way to my first uh, major destination, which is in Vinton, Louisiana. It's Delta Downs Racetrack and Casino, and I'm going to spend probably the weekend there. It's 608 miles to Delta Downs, so we won't make it today. But I have to have at least two more days of driving, but I'll see how far down the road I can get and find a place to hold up for the night and then roll in tomorrow. I don't know if you can see them, uh, but off to the right at that gas station. Well, he's a friendly, friendly fella opening the door. Maybe that's his job, but they're just hanging out on the sidewalk here at 5 a.m. This has been a good choice so far on a four lane road. And there's been very little traffic. Pretty much had the whole road to myself. So easy traveling here in the pre dawn hours. We're coming into Red Bay, Alabama, which is right on the state line of Mississippi. So we'll probably see some traffic pick up in a little bit. But right now we only see two cars on my side of the road and one on the other. So I'm going to have to start watching gas buddy out because I have seen a couple of gas stations out in the middle of nowhere with gas $2.84 a gallon. When that's compared to the $2.99, it was most often seen into southern Tennessee and northern Alabama. On a 20 gallon fill up, that saves $3. That's a bed and a half at Delta Downs. We will see some sunrises on this trip, but I don't think we're going to kiss the one today because deep in the Mississippi woods, uh, we can't get high enough to actually see the sun come over the horizon. Too many trees, which is a great thing because we're going to go to a place later this month where there are no trees. So enjoy these while we can. Those of you who use iPhones know this, but Siri is a terrible liar. And we're going to miss Tupelo. I was a little excited to go through and see Elvis's, uh, where he grew up, but Smithville, Mississippi. this dollar store here at the crossroad or the junction looks like a t-junction i'm not going to stay here for very long oh there's a fire ant mound but you can just barely see the barge the lights of the barge coming up the river there's a little pull off place down here we we'll go and park for a while see the barge when it uh, makes it up here because it might be four or five hours for it to go that far. Hmm. Where's the lock over there? When I left Athens this morning, Athens, Alabama, I asked Siri to show me the route to Delta Downs avoiding interstate highways and she showed me one that took us through Tupelo, Mississippi. Well, I set the uh, navigation, Siri and Garmin and Google can rarely agree on a route, 
So I set the route in Google because I have found that's usually the uh, the best one. And Google has found a way to circumnavigate Tupelo. So we will not be going to Elvis's hometown. I'm in no hurry so I could go up there, but Tupelo is not that far from home. So I could make that a shorter trip in the future. Since we're already this far south of it, we'll just continue on toward Starkville, Mississippi, I believe. But we'll stay here for a little while at this Tom Bigby topping off my magazine. It's tight and with my strokes, it's hard to get, uh, get that last round in there. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Oh, I'm just down for a walk. It's, it's a good place to do it, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think I see a barge coming up the river. I was going to catch it going into the locks. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. You know, I don't think <laughs> I showed you how crazy I am. I don't think there's one in the chamber. That's why I can't get one in the magazine. All right, now. So I just have to work to get it in. I don't think I'll be going through New Orleans. I'm going to avoid it as but if at all possible but um but there's an old saying about a former state or a former politician who was asked about his state and he said uh, about his stance on uh, uh guns in louisiana and he said um, in his southern drawl when i was in louisiana i always carries a gun when i was in new orleans I always carry two guns. <laughs> mm. And Louisiana has reciprocity with Kentucky, so my, my concealed carry license is good here. Mm. Boy, I'm pitiful. Can't even load a magazine anymore. Mm. But anyway, I'm sitting here at the uh, on the Tom Tennessee ten, Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway, waiting for a barge to uh, come up to this um, lock here in front of us near Smithville, Mississippi. When it does, we'll walk down and check it out. And it goes into the lock. I'm going to have to give up on the uh, loading the magazine. <sighs> Try it again later. Mm. Better check and see if that one went in the chamber. <laughs> it didn't. <sighs> That's why I can't get it in. I'm so pitiful. All right, I think it went in that time. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see if we can get this last uh, round in. Oh. There we go. We made it. All right. Huh. Did you see a barge coming up river? I thought there was one. Uh, it just takes it a while, doesn't it? Thank you so much, sir.
I probably need to stop eating candy for breakfast um, and get some protein because uh, between Athens, Alabama and uh, here at the, the waterway, I've eaten, that was only about a half of have a container of almonds left, but I've eaten them all. I'd have to do better. There goes, there goes the uh, chocolate almond box. That takes some skill to do one-handed. We're gonna walk down here to the river to see where the barge is. <sighs> see if I got time to take a nap before it gets here. Sun has risen. There's the van. There's a stop sign right out there on that on the levee. Guess he must ride four wheelers or something. Actually it's the gate. Authorized use only, I'm sure. That poor tree's been shredded by wind or tornado or something. All little branches stripped off all over the place. Don't see the barge in sight, but there's the spillway. Bring a grab hook, get caught, pay a federal fine, but <laughs> uh, it's a shame you need signs like that. Hey, look, let's go into the turbid water and, and do some swimming. And then a rescue squad will have a, a mission, a recovery mission. It looks like I'm going to have a fall before the bars get you, so it looks like I can take a nap. There's the lock. Uh oh, I left the window down on the vehicle. And 
doors unlocked. I better get back. I don't see anything coming up river. Maybe it was headed down river. Made it already gone through. This is nice though. They got somebody's tacked a rod holders into uh, under the levee wall so they can put their poles and Every so often they have these little openings in the fence where you can fish, fish, without having to drag your fish up over the double rails. Going into the sun now. Some of you are curious about how I handle bathroom breaks on the road. And it's just like you do, except I am responsible for my own sewage, uh, sewage uh, uh, disposal. I have a bucket that's already filled with plastic garbage bags that have cat litter in them. So all I have to do is do this. And then I put my toilet lid to it. You know, it's just like a, just like the mold at home. And uh, and now I have to provide uh, a little privacy. So I put up my reflectix close off that window and since we're in a uh, pretty private place I'm not going to set up the front screen but I have it right there that I just pull down out of the out of the uh, cabinet if, an, if somebody comes up and the knee door is done you just take down the, the privacy screen take your toilet seat off Close up the bag. Now the bucket is airtight, so I have to suck. If I have to store it for a while, it um, it um, doesn't smell up the van. But when there's a location like I am. The federal government has thoughtfully provided trash cans, so we will make use of it. And I view it as no different than disposing of a baby diaper or cleaning up after your pet. And my story is going to be, if I'm ever questioned, that that amount of waste is produced by my pet, which is a grizzly bear. And I would, I would let you pet him, but he's in a bad mood and he would likely eat you today. So you just have to take my word for it. It's mid morning, so it's time to move on. I, got, I have gotten rested. Like the mythical Bigfoot in the Oregon mountains last summer, 
no barge has shown up to go through the lock, so I'm going to uh, bid adieu to this nice area and get on down the road. Before we go, though, I just noticed I've got first blood on the trip. It's a small one, but right in the V of the hand. Must have were braided to doing something. And we're riding them through Amory, A-M-O-R-Y, Mississippi. Looks like a decent sized little town. Aberdeen, Mississippi. You could almost sing a song to the tune of Abilene. Aberdeen, sweetest, prettiest little town I've ever seen. All right, what about a Walmart? What a different kind of Walmart. I'm in West Point, West Mississippi. Point, and this Walmart is green, not blue. Hmm. That's different. Is as good a place as any to take a break. Let's see if green Walmart's any different than blue Walmart. Walmart gasoline, 286 and 283 with their Walmart Plus discount. But on this uh, card, I get 2% back. So we'll do some math. I do think that that uh, I'm gonna come out by using this card. It's pretty thoughtful here in West Point, Mississippi. They've got an Anytime Fitness Workout Center, and right next door, if you get to uh, too anxious, they got a chiropractic uh, doctor to feet. All you have to do is stumble down the sidewalk and you take care of it. If you look to the right side of the road, you see these little cone shaped mounds. <laughs> I think those are fire ant nests and they're big ones. I don't think I'm gonna kick one over to find out, but we'll go with that. Driving through the country around the north side of Starkville, Mississippi. Of course, Starkville is the home to Mississippi State University, one of the SEC rivals of the Kentucky Wildcats. Seems we're actually in sort of horse country here. Pretty nice little drive through the tree line. I would say that's an interstate that would take us to Starkville to the left. Here's there's no uh, nice Starkville city limits, all right. There's no uh, ancient ramps here, ranchers ramps. Hopefully we'll bypass most of Starkville. Of course, 
toward the Garmin, it looks like we might be going right through the middle. It'll soon be lunch time, so we're going to find us a place to stop. There's a national forest ahead of us. I'm not sure how far. We might try to get there and find a place to, uh, to park and kick back and relax for a little while. This is pretty neat. I think we have circumnavigated Starkville, Mississippi completely and on that stretch of road on that stretch of road we saw four cars I think good choice Google Maps Starkville is off to our left I believe we're heading due south now. Seven miles to the visitor center in the wrong way. So I'm not going. <coughs> Continue on Bluff Lake Road for seven miles. But it appears to be mostly swamp. I haven't seen the place here. I feel comfortable pulling off because I wouldn't get hung up. Old cabin. Nice little area through the pines. National Forest. Of course, there are private holdings in the National Forest in places. So you have to be careful when you camp that you're on public land and not private land. We're gaining the elevation a little bit, so. Maybe the ground won't be quite so swampy. There was a road to the right that was a very sharp turn. It looked to be gravel. I could have pulled in there, but I'm going to hit a steam up this hill, so we're going to get to the top or bust. It's actually a pretty good. Uh, Pretty good uh, road. Uh oh. Hello. All right. We have come to the hunting club. All right, boys. Hello. It's still deer season in Mississippi, so we pulled up and found the hunting camp. They all got dogs, so maybe they're gonna gonna run, run the dogs. Maybe they run the deer with hounds. I should ask. There's good fellas, though. <coughs> Can get over how nice these roads are in Mississippi and very few people are on them. Back home they would be bumper to bumper, somebody would be tailgating me. Pass you need to do a 95, which they do here, the, the passing, where nobody tailgates you because there aren't, there aren't anybody, there, there's so few on the road, and it's well spaced. Alright, we're going to Louisville and Philadelphia. Philadelphia is where I spent last, uh, last winter, I stayed at the casino, or played some poker at the casino. I went 
Natchez Trace. I'm going to go down here to a, a, a campground, a free campground. Some of the reviews say it's been taken over by homeless people. Well, we shall see. Maybe I can minister to them. Preach the gospel. There are three free campgrounds along the entire length. Natchez Trace Parkway and this one is the southernmost one called Rock Springs and I've had advance warning or, or knowledge that it may have turned into a homeless camp let's see they closed the restrooms Ten miles an hour. In half a mile, turn right. Campers only after ten PM. Yes, sir. 
included. In a quarter of a mile, turn right. Here's a guy who's moved in. Sitting down at that one. In 1,000 feet, turn right, then turn left. There's a pull through that's not uh, not very level. SUV. I don't think we want to stay there. Nasty bathhouse. There's one living in his SUV. Turn right, then turn left. I'm not real impressed, boys. All right, but I don't think I want to stay here. Turn left. We're approaching the end of the Natchez Trace Parkway and approaching the city of Natchez, Mississippi, which is right on the Mississippi River. And we're going to turn right here and we're going to Walmart. Spend the night. All right, I'm in Natchez, Mississippi at the Walmart where I'm going to spend the night. Uh, came, uh, drove 326 miles from Athens, Alabama today. Had plenty of stops along the way to rest up, but I am tired. And I still have about 200 miles to go to Delta Downs, so about four hours. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, pretty good weather here, though. Hey, Sherry, watch the weather. It's currently cloudy and 61 degrees. Temperatures are heading down from 61 degrees to 55 tonight. Hey, Sherry, what's the weather in Greensburg, Kentucky? It's currently clear and 42 degrees in Greensburg, Kentucky. Expect snow starting in the morning, then cloudy skies starting tonight. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 27 degrees. Ooh, 